Welcome to Bay Sunday. I'm your host, Kenny Choi. We begin with our pitch. If you have a show idea, we would love to hear from you. You could go to facebook.com slash Bay Sunday and comment to the page. Let's jump in with something beautiful, the award-winning musical Beautiful. The Carol King musical is in town at the Orpheum. Our producer has seen the show, says it's incredible. Please welcome to the show, Salisha Thomas, who plays one of the Sherrills. Good to have you this morning. Hi. So tell us about the show. You have a big part in it. Well, I play one of the Sherrills and also um, the secretary to Donnie Kirshner. Mm -hmm. uh, and and, and the, the show, the Carol King show. About one of the greatest, one of the arguably one of the greatest songwriters oh, of all time. Oh, she's fantastic. A lot of people, especially in my generation, don't know who Carol King is, or they don't think they do until they see the show and you hear the songs. It's it would be almost impossible to never have heard any of the music before. And there's so many. There's "Will You Still Love Me," "Natural Woman." Uh -huh. Uh, tell us about one of the songs that you perform. Well, I sing lead on Will You Still Love Me? And so we come out in these pink dresses and we are portraying the Shirelles. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's nice. You see how um, Carol King is... Uh, writing this song with her partner Jerry Goff and her husband and they're kind of in a competition with Cynthia Weil and Barry Mann who whoever has the best song Donnie Kirshner is going to give it to the, Sh the Shirelles. Right. I don't want to give it away but I might have. <laughs> we, have we have a clip we have a clip from the uh, the musical let's take a look and talk about it on the other side. Oh gosh. Before she was Carol King superstar she was Carol King teenage songwriter. Her music would become the soundtrack to a generation. Her story is the musical of a lifetime. Beautiful. The Carol King musical. Beautiful. Begins August 9th at the SHN Orpheum Theater. For tickets, visit shnsf.com. Yeah, when you hear the music, you can't help but kind of dance and, and... Yeah, it's so exciting. And being part of this production is such a dream come true. We have a dynamite cast and such a great team. And um, it's, it's my first big production being a part of. And it really is more than I could have ever dreamed of. And, and you were from Fresno. Uh, and here you are on the big stage. You also got a chance to uh, perform on Broadway. Oh, you know what? I actually didn't do the Broadway show. But um, from Fresno, I went down to Southern California. I worked at Disneyland. And one day I just thought, there's something else. Mm -hmm. And I bought a <laughs> one-way ticket to New York. Yeah. And that same week, I booked the show. And it's just been crazy and, and, and you're kind of getting a little emotional now I, I can't imagine what it's like for someone to kind of get that role that they've been looking for their entire lives yeah it happened so fast and even in the rehearsal process I was learning the show next to people who have done it on Broadway some people who had originated their roles on Broadway and now I'm learning it for the first time next to these people who are doing it so well <laughs> it's like the stakes are so high right. yeah what is it like behind the scenes? I know it's 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 a grind because what we see, we see the performers on stage looking flawless. But but there's there's a grind to it. Uh, yeah, you know it's hard work to be able to show up every day to do the same show every day. We've done it almost no no we've done it over 500 times, mm -hmm. and to be alive and fresh and to present it to an audience who's never seen it before. Right. Um, but we do it because we love it. And it really, I mean, it is a grind, but it's also, it's fun. Yeah, what would you tell the kids out there that are watching, some, some aspiring singers that may be watching this morning, what would your best advice be to those who want to one day be on Broadway or in front, uh, in front of uh, an audience such as, as big as, as the ones that we're seeing? I'd say follow your heart and put in the work. Um, if, if it's something that you want to do, you practice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> go to voice lessons, go to dance classes. If you want to study it in school, but no matter what, follow your passion because when you're passionate about it, you'll probably put in more work than other people who aren't passionate about it. No one's going to have to ask you to practice because you already love it. And when you love it, it just takes everything to a whole new level. Talent will get you so far. Right. But when you actually want to be there and do it, it's, it'll take you even further. Nothing like hard work. What's next for you? We don't have too much time, but what's your <laughs> ultimate goal? Um, I'd like to get a show on Broadway and get back to New York City. I, I miss it a lot. Possibly uh, Hamilton? Uh, that would be 
be fantastic. <laughs> Seems like that's uh, one of the shows that everyone wants to be on. Yeah. Felicia Thomas, uh, congratulations uh, on what you've done so far, and best of luck uh, the rest of the way. Thank, Thank you for having you me. So Thank much. you for being here. <laughs> and for more information about Beautiful, you could log on to shnsf.com and click on Beautiful. That's shnsf.com and click on Beautiful. We'll be back with more Bay Sunday after this break. Thank you. Thank you so much.